as we continue our stroll up Union Avenue on Wednesday 19th of May 2010, we come across this pretty interesting building which says Scottish Right, and there's a little uh, sort of signpost on a ground level that says Scottish Right for Freemasonry, so I'm not exactly sure what it is, but a pretty old building by, by American standards, so we'll have a look in the way back down on the other side of the road and see what it's all about, but uh, I thought that was a pretty interesting to find that in Union Avenue, Memphis, Tennessee. <laughs> Well, I've never known Marion to want to walk as much as all my life. I must have walked oh, a good two, three, maybe even four miles up Union Avenue. Uh, I told her up here on this side of the road was Memorial uh, Memphis Memorial Hospital where Elvis finally passed away. And I remember seeing it in previous visits. We think this is it here, and that car park being built on the, the front of it. Uh, but uh, it, it was a kind of well-known landmark. You see, pointed out by all the, the tour guides. So when we go to Graceland in a uh, few days time, we'll plot Union Avenue, we'll ask the question and see whether we've got the right uh, building or not, but uh, that's why she's walked non-stop for almost an hour in the 80 degree humidity. <laughs> so over and out. And here we go, through the gates of Graceland, just crossing Elvis Presley Boulevard. about to enter famous gates across there up the driveway as they're stuck at a red light well I'm going to shut this off because I don't know how long we're going to be sitting here So here we go. Here we go. I just want to get get in the gates here. As we get in the gates, there we go. There we go. On our way up to the Graceland. We've just noticed an actual fact that uh, looking in that direction, Memorial. Graves are, and there's a little cross there we can just see. I think it's like where Marion had her picture taken. So uh, that's just a little view that we had there, uh, and there's a bus coming, so I'm moving. And that's about all you do see of Graceland itself from the roadway. So get away this bus. Having finished our tour of the Cotton Museum, which is absolutely fascinating, we just thought to do this little clip here. We're down at the park off, just off uh, Beale Street, which I have referred to as Rufus Thomas Park because there's not here Rufus Thomas across there, but it's not as called Handy Park as we can see. This is when it's all late, it's before one, it's still before one o'clock, but uh, the blues music starts here every day at this time, and uh, you know, it's a bit heavy for Manny and I actually, but pretty good blue stuff as far as we know. So I just thought I'd correct the uh, mistake with Rufus Thomas. It's actually called Handy Park. And these guys are pretty good. There we are. It's day 8 in the afternoon. Uh, Tuesday the 25th of May 2010. We're in a kind of final wind down here. Uh, we're just uh, having a quite relaxing view. It's mid-afternoon. It's in the 90s. I mean, it's so warm that the heat's kind of exhausting. We're standing outside a a bar called Silky O'Sullivan, which uh, everybody an Irish bar, which of course it says it's the world famous Irish bar. They've got live blues music every afternoon. But we don't really feel like sitting down and going through all that for another hour or so. So we're just sitting relaxing and they're saying, can you wind down towards going home tomorrow? And uh, it's timey wise, it's been spot on and all that, so uh, we're more or less ready for it. We'll have a nice relaxing night tonight, do some tomorrow morning, and uh, I'm going to enjoy my beer. And uh, I'm just looking around because uh, the only problem with Beale Street is every 50 yards you get uh, pushed to somebody looking for money, but uh, I think we're okay this time. So we'll just uh, switch off for now.